Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Cancers. Cancer, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Cancers for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we've got Hermit Energy, Virgo, your person, Two of Cups, and they're viewing you as the Three of Cups. All right, what you're not seeing is the Tower, and your final outcome advice, Queen of Wands, Energy in Reverse. Okay, and we have the Star card in Reverse, Aquarius Energy. All right, Cancer, so what I'm seeing here is a lot of you, um, there may have been a tower moment for you and for this person, but it's in the hidden position. So there might be something shocking coming your way, or they've been through something that they haven't quite disclosed yet. Now, the star card in reverse also tells me that you're probably not very sure about the future of this connection. And let's see, with the hermit card, it feels like your person hasn't been communicating. Uh, they've been quiet. Virgo energy, they're definitely looking at details. They've gone within for answers. Cancers may be doing this as well. You may be dealing with an Aries, Emperor energy. Someone here is absolutely about to boss up. And we get the Two of Wands, yeah. This person has gone within what I'm getting. They might have even, you might feel like they've ghosted you, but I don't think that's the case. I feel like there's very little to no communication while they're figuring out what decision they need to make here. Um, it feels like it's a big decision, Cancer. For some of you, it's going to be about a higher level of commitment with you. Um, the Two of Cups tells me this is your soulmate. And Queen of Cups, they might have water in their chart, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This person loves you, Cancer. They absolutely adore you. And they're working through some sort of confusion. And they want to reconcile. For some of you, there's a question about having kids or maybe you have children with each other. Again, that's not going to be for all of you. But yeah, this person was definitely feeling confused or maybe a little bit overwhelmed. And I feel like they've gone within for answers. They're viewing you as the Three of Cups. So they see you in an extremely positive light. They see you as the Ten of Cups, Cancer. This person wants marriage, family with you. Um, and the Ace of Wands, they're extremely attracted to you. So for some of you, this could even be a new person who's crushing on you that you don't even know. But for others of you, yes, you know who this person is. They've kind of gone quiet. They want a renewal. Um, this is like marriage and engagement is what I'm seeing, or at least they're fantasizing about that with you. The tower here tells me they've gone through something. Hmm. For some of you, there's something going on with their house, their home. They're thinking about moving, possibly selling a home. Um, and the three of wands energy in reverse. Yeah, they've been holding back. It's possible because of work, but there's something that weighs very heavy on them. They, it might be family issues or family problems here, Cancer. All right, so your advice here or the final outcome is the Queen of Wands. I'm, I'm hearing don't be too triggered, okay? Uh, you don't have the whole picture. I can see that. Like you, like you don't really know what's going on with this person. Yeah, they're coming in to heal things, but there's something about the past. For some of you, there might be something going on with their children. If they have children, you know, with a previous, you know, person or from a, another connection, but this person has been sort of burying themselves in work to figure out what issue, like what, how to solve this, how to heal. Uh, for some of you, there might have been like a major, I'm getting there's like some sort of financial issue. I don't know if they're having difficulty like paying for their children's college or something like that. I'm, it, it feels something like that. But it's almost like they didn't want to fully let you in, Cancer. They didn't want to fully let you know like what's going on with them. Um, but they are coming in to heal things. All right. So I, I, I kind of feel like some of my cancers with this queen of wands energy in reverse, um, to just focus on like on, on balance, focus on yourself, on building up your strength. Things aren't what they seem, but I, I feel like you're going to be very pleasantly surprised with how this person feels and the decision that they're making to kind of turn things around or come towards you or tell you what's up because it's been a tower moment for them. All right. This person is definitely emotionally guarded. Tower moment when you least expect it. They're very different from you. 
they're going to tell you what they've been what they've been keeping secret, keeping close to their chest. And I, I have a feeling that a lot of my cancers, you might be thinking the worst. And, and I feel like you are going to be pleasantly surprised. Yeah, this person is definitely putting themselves in your shoes. They know that you're that you're not happy, that you're worried, that you're upset, possibly triggered by their behavior. But you are also being asked here to just wait. Wait and see, Cancer, because I think you're going to be very surprised with how this person is feeling. Um, because I'm, I'm seeing this person adores you. They, they adore you. Um, so let's see. Clear messages and guidance for my Cancers, please. What do they need to know here? Yeah, so this person, they're, they're working on something. Like there's some, or they're waiting for something. I don't know if it's like they're waiting for some, something to be cleared up, waiting for some money, waiting for, you know, the sale of a home or something like that. Um, this person loves you. Even if it, even if you haven't heard from them in some time. Now I'm not talking about months or years necessarily. It feels like it's more short term, but this person definitely loves you and they're trying to transcend obstacles they're getting ready for union or they want to work on this with you yeah this person's going to reach out they're 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 doing something they need to do with this boat card i don't know if it's pay off you know i don't know if it's sell a home pay off some bills heal from something but they're coming right towards you cancer they're coming right for you all right let's see what messages we have for my cancers please Actually, they're telling me to go to this deck first. What else do my cancers, what does this person want to say to my cancers, please? You are my gift from the universe. When I don't feel good about myself, I respond in negative words and actions. I will start an argument when I cannot verbalize my feelings correctly. So you might feel like this person was a bit like stroppy or short with you recently or you know, especially before they pulled back. And I want to go out of my way to do things for you. Yeah, and for some of you, they didn't feel like they had their finances in order or something. But I do think this person's coming in to... Coming in possibly with a gift. Definitely to make it up to you, Cancer. Or to show you that they care. Yeah, you can be completely open with this person. Yeah, a lot of you, this person's been working. And I see that with the Ten of Wands. They've been blocked because they have too many responsibilities. They've taken on too much. For some of you, they were living or are living above their means. And everything happens for a reason. And this time apart has definitely brought them clarity. All right, Cancers? So I would expect a message here from this person soon. All right, um, sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, um, subscribe to the channel. And if you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that is down below. Love and light. Take care.